Hey everyone, this is Scott Wynkiewicz from Photocrati and Next Gen Gallery. Today I want to answer a question that uh, comes into our support desk quite often. Um, so one of the things with Next Gen Gallery, or really any plugin or theme that is very dynamic and has a lot going on, is there's going to be some sort of performance penalty. This is because there's you know, a lot more uh, functions happening all at once, trying to to take care of many different tasks for you. And Next Gen Gallery does this because we, we make it very flexible so that you really have complete control over your gallery. So there is a performance penalty and we're always working on ways to speed that up. And, um, but we know that there's other ways that can help with website performance and we're gonna share that in addition to us doing our own you know, performance optimization on our end, we wanna share some of the ways that you could go about um, speeding up your website as well. So the first way is by using images that are um, not as large as you need to be. So if your uh, images, if the images you're uploading are 3000 pixels wide, that's not really going to help you speed wise. Or if you're using 300 DPI, all that's going to do is add more megabytes or kilobytes really to your image. Um, when you don't even need 300 DPI on a website. So the first thing that we would recommend is optimizing your image sizes for uh, web speed. So um, really, if you don't need anything too huge, you know, stick to a laptop resolution. So maybe 1600 wide or so, that's around there, would be as wide as you would need to go, uh, the longest edge in order to fill a laptop screen because most people are now, nowadays are using a laptop more than a desktop and the average monitor size is around the 1640 um, you know, pixel width. So um, you stick with something, either that or a little bit smaller if you don't even need it that large, whatever it is, just keep in mind what you need, not what just bigger is better because that's not always the case. So stick with that. 72 DPI is more than enough because with wet with screens, DPI really doesn't do anything. So again, all it's going to do is add uh, more file size to the file, not really help with any resolution. So again, keep, I'm going to stress the fact that um, making sure that your image is optimized for the web, for what you need on the web is is key. Okay, so that's number one. Number two uh, I want to talk about is caching. So some people are afraid of caching because it can cause more harm than good depending on what you do. But there's, there's two different plugins that I want to bring up. The first plugin is W3 Total Cache. So if you're on a site, on a, if you're using a host, let's say you're using DreamHost or Bluehost or HostGator or LiquidWeb, they don't typically come with caching. So, um, you know, going with, some, going with uh, a caching plugin can be very useful, but it's important, very important, to make sure that your settings are optimized for your host. So with W3 Total Cache, there's a lot of features um, that you could utilize, but some of them will conflict with your server, which in turn will actually cause more harm than good. So if you're gonna consider a caching plugin, Make sure that you do your research to see uh, what settings are best for your server. You can either contact your hosting company and ask them, or you can, you know, just check online. Type in W3 Total Cache settings for Bluehost and see how that, you know, what people recommend setting it for for your host. Um, so W3 Total Cache is free. There are um, some premium upgrades that you can do. Uh, there's also a premium installation service that you can pay for that the developers will actually go in and um, optimize the settings for your host and for your website. So W3 Total Cache is very good. There's also WP Super Cache, which is actually designed by Automatic, the company who develops WordPress itself. Uh, they also have a lot of features and also uh, you know, works, works very well. And both of them are working with Next Gen Gallery, but there is something I need to mention. Um, there is a feature called Minify, and Minify is can be useful in some cases, but if you have any, um, you know, dynamic functions going on, Minify could actually break that. So Minify, if you have it on automatic Minify, which means the plugin is deciding what 
to minify. It could break next-gen gallery. It most likely will break next-gen gallery. It could break your theme. It could break other plugins. So my suggestion would be leave minify off unless you're turning it on manually and choosing what files you want it to minify. So that is my suggestion with there. Um, another th advantage of these plugins is the fact that it, um, they can, especially W3 Total Cache, it does it very well. It can connect to a CDN. So if you use Amazon S3 or, or CloudFront or any of these type of uh, Mac CDNs, any of these cl um, content delivery networks, it can actually um, handle that for you and which in turn will speed up your site as well. Um, so that's a nice feature of W3 Total Cache. I believe WP Super Cache now has the, uh, some of that, like Amazon S3 included as well. Um, both of these are free, but the CDNs are not, so that you would have to pay for separately. Um, but uh, definitely check those out as well if you want additional uh, boost of performance. Now, my hosting company, which I'm gonna talk about in a little bit, uh, has their own. They use uh, NetDNA is the CDN service they use, but I actually use Amazon S3 for my own site and it works great with, uh, with NextGen Gallery and NextGen Pro. Um, so that is what I use, uh, but let's keep going. So another thing, another plugin we, we recommend is WP Optimize. It's great to um, clean up your database. Now, if you're not an advanced WordPress user or advanced developer or understand cPanel or PHP MyAdmin or any of those, this plugin is fantastic because it'll just optimize your database, clean up any um, you know j jumbled database things going on or across the tables and whatnot. And so, if you don't understand uh, how to do it in the back end um, of your server, then I definitely recommend WP Optimize as a way to clean up your database. It'll help very, very uh, you know nicely. So, uh, check that out. It's also free. Now, the hosting company that you're using can be a big factor in your website speed. A shared host is going to be slower than a, uh, you know, either a, a VPN or a virtual private network or a private server or a website system, a host that is designated only for WordPress hosting. So let's talk about that a little bit. Okay, so here we are in an article that I wrote uh, or that we wrote um, at NextGen Gallery about, um, different hosting companies. And you can see here that there's a lot of options. Here's some basic options. Bluehost, it's very affordable. Dreamhost, very affordable. Then there's some advanced options and there's a big difference. So Bluehost and Dreamhost, although they're affordable, you can see Bluehost starts at $4.96 a month. Dreamhost starts at $8.95 a month. They're shared hosting at those price levels. Now, both of them offer uh, VPS or virtual private uh, servers that are a little bit better. Um, and by having shared hosting, uh, you are sh literally sharing space with other websites. You could be sharing a server with 100 or 200 or whoever many other websites, which means, one, if one gets hacked, you're all vulnerable. It also means that if one is um, doing, you know, pulling in a lot of traffic, every other website on that server is going to slow down. So those, um, the, you know, it's affordable, but you have some, some downsides you have to worry about. There's also advanced hosting like WP Engine and Synthesis. Now, WP Engine has their own caching system, and they have their own CDN that is included. Um, there's a lot of other advantages like a staging site and things like that. Um, so I recommend checking out WP Engine. That's actually what I use. You can see right here. Here's their website. Um, it is more expensive. Their first plan it, uh, starts at $29 a month. Um, and you only get one website and it's only WordPress. So there are some downsides to going with these WordPress only hostings. Um, their second plan up is $100 a month and you only get 10 sites. So if you need multiple sites, it's a little more expensive. Um, then there's Synthesis. Now Synthesis uh, is also pricey. It's around the same price as, uh, as WP Engine. It starts at $27 a month. They also have caching and they also have a CDN system. And they also have a extension, an extension for W3 Total Cache. So if you wanted to add on more caching, you could actually pick up their extension and then you can add um, you know, another level of caching to their own. So it's kind of nice to, uh, to have that option as well. So there's a lot of options out there for hosting, but keep in mind, the better hosting is going to be better for speed. So a host that is, uh, you know, uh, 
secure and fast and not, uh, you know, you're not reliant on other websites on the same server is going to be faster loading a, you know, a gallery with higher resolution images than one that's on a shared host. So hosting makes a difference as well for gallery loading speed and overall website loading speed. So if you want to read more about hosting, go to our website, click on document in fact, documentation in fact, it's going to bring it to our help page. And then right at the top of this page is going to be a link to this hosting article that uh, you can, you know, please read through uh, as well. So here you can see right here, the best hosting for creatives and small businesses. Check that out. Um, there's also one other article I want to link you to that can uh, play a role. It's on our Photocrati website. Uh, how to help prevent your WordPress site from breaking and being hacked. Basically, uh, we went through and answered a bunch of questions that customers had, and so that can be very helpful as well. Um, so I'm going to uh, link to that as well. I hope that this was helpful. Uh, there's a lot that goes into helping, you know, make sure that a site is fast uh, and secure. So. Again, we're going to be doing everything we can to speed up NextGen Gallery and NextGen Pro for everybody. But there's things that you can do on your end to help speed it up. Um, so, and that all starts with simple image optimization. So, thanks for watching. Again, this is Scott from Photocrati and NextGen Gallery, and talk to you soon.